Hello everybody. Today we want to show you the PWM I.O. adjustment function of Toshiba's three-phase PWM driver for sensorless brushless DC motors, the TB67B001. Please have a look at the following demonstration setup. We use a brushless DC motor driven by a micro E clickboard with TB67B001 on board, which is connected via an adapter to a MCU that controls the setup. Here you can see the motor ramping up with the standard controller settings. However, you may want to change the startup or speed behavior of the motor in your application. When startup or speed changes require modification, PWM input to output adjustment is needed. Please see the below diagram for this adjustment. The TB67B001 uses a 4 point curve to adjust the in to output PWM. The input PWM adjustment values on the x axis are fixed to ADJ0, 50, 90, and 100%. The PWM output values at the y-axis can be set by the ADJ1 to 3 values. Additionally, the startup behavior can be set by the SEL ADJ pin on the TB67B001. When SEL underscore ADJ is set to low, the output will not start before the PWM at the input reaches the ADJ0 level. Setting SEL underscore ADJ to M, the PWM output follows the PWM input from the beginning according to the curve settings. Finally, setting SEL underscore ADJ to high, the motor will always run at a minimum PWM of ADJ1, regardless of the PWM input. Now we will show you an example how to start the motor with a softer ramp up. Please see the below diagrams showing the standard setting on the left side and the modified setting on the right side. In both cases the motor is driven with the same input PWM. You can see it as a proceeding red bar in the controller TFT. The motor speed can be seen at the screen's RPM fields. Even if the input PWM is the same in the standard and modified setup, the output PWM is lower in the right case. This is due to the ADJX adjustment. So the motor ramps up with a softer curve. In the next example, we show a later start of the motor with a modified speed curve. Again, you can see the direct comparison between the standard and the modified settings. In this example you could see the motor with the modified controller settings ramping up later and speeding up faster than the motor with the standard settings. Well, thanks for watching the video and please have a look to the below information if you are interested into further details.